and greetings back again I'm going to tint up a picture that I've been drawing in this Strathmore visual journal this is Bristol smooth paper and uh, not always the best for painting on but uh, you know this is uh, this is my sketchbook and that's uh, that's how it goes so you do what you have to do and oftentimes I will tint a painting I'll tint a drawing using my uh, fountain pens or fountain pen ink but the colors tend to come out a little washed out they're a little uh, a little pale and and uh, drab even and I wanted to get with this picture I wanted to get a little more uh, a little more saturation so I decided to use my M gram watercolors and uh, the watercolors the M gram watercolors are really great they're they're nicely pigmented there the colors come up really nicely they've got some the colors are always well saturated and uh, very uh, consistent and I've never had any trouble now I'm going to speed this up so we're not sitting here all night watching me paint half the painting and uh, the problem with this is that unfortunately I went to dinner and when I came home I tried to record the second half of this where I completed the the painting but of course as you may well know my technical skills with uh, with all of these newfangled apps and things really isn't all that strong and I and I uh, well I blew it and so we're only going to see me paint half of this image and then we're just gonna cut to uh, a shot of the the completed the completed process but again, I'm going to use my M. Graham watercolors on this Strathmore Bristol Smooth paper. And the ink I'm using for this is the Kiwaguro Sailor Black Kiwaguro ink. And uh, it's a pigmented black ink. And one of the issues that I run into with pigmented blacks is that, especially when I'm doing small detail like this, is that with the watercolors, the pigment will lift out of the lines and it will muddy up my paint or or just smudge around. Though the line itself remains water fast, the uh, excess particulate or the, the uh, microparticle of carbon will still lift out and move around. Uh, this is, I notice that this is more of a problem with my Falcon pens than with my Sailor pens. The Falcon pens tend to be a little wetter and so I get this effect more often I uh, I don't seem to have as much problem with the ink moving around when I'm using the sailor pens but I like the soft nibs on my falcon pens when I'm doing things that are a little more organic I guess as this would be because the line variation gives me just gives me a little more visual interest then do the sailor pens, which are uh, which are much more uniform in the way it delivers the line. And uh, there are times where I prefer that over uh, over the soft. But uh, for this image, I I went with the falcons, and I've been using the falcons more recently just because I've been doing things that uh, I, it's just been suiting my emotional <laughs> my emotional place that I've been in, I guess. But uh, this is a, a, a sort of an Art Nouveau, an Art Nouveau picture. When I was living in Paris, I had the great advantage of living in Paris with my, with my parents. And I went to the uh, Ecole France Longue, and I later went to uh, the American College of Paris. And I was there for about, uh, on and off, for about f oh, five years. And uh, one of the things I used to enjoy doing was going down to the uh, Palais de Glace. Sometimes they would have a... They would have these art seminars where you could go and watch uh, a, uh, an artist give a lecture. And I would go down there and uh, one of the fellows was doing some watercolor. Unfortunately, I cannot recall his name. And he was greatly inspirational to me. It was amazing to watch him work. Unfortunately, my French not being terribly strong, uh, I really couldn't understand the nuance of how he was talking about his 
paint and his colors very passionately. But uh, the experience of just watching him paint was thrilling, and and uh, it it uh, it stayed with me. Now my father was more of a of an impressionist. He liked impressionist art, and I would go with him to Pointillist expositions and uh, and uh, Rodin and. Uh, and Monet. I always thought he liked the Monet just because when he took off his glasses, that's how the world actually looked. <laughs> but um, that was always a, a great, a great joy to go and see the, the Cubist art. But I, I always had an affinity for illustration, and one of the illustrations that I really enjoyed were the Deco illustrations and Art Nouveau. And in fact, there was a brand of cigarette that I used to like to smoke when I was living in France and young and foolish, smoking cigarettes and drinking booze on the street. But uh, they would have these little cards in the back of the pack, and uh, they would be these Art Nouveau pictures, or they would be classic deco pictures of ladies smoking very long cigarettes. And I used to like to buy the cigarettes just so that I could break the little card off, and it was a gimmick, I know, but... You know, young and foolish. I would take the cards and I would collect them and place them in my in my book or use them for uh, for bookmarks and some of my history books. I was a history student when I was living in France, uh, sociology and and uh, history. So it was a great fun as a trombone player. What the heck was I doing? But <laughs> I was having a good time. That's what I. That's what I. I'll stick to it. But. Uh, I always found that uh, illustration was always something that I enjoyed watching. And uh, I like drawing in these little five and a half by eight sketchbooks because I can take them anywhere. I can go anywhere and sketch in them. And it doesn't seem very ostentatious when I pull out a big nine by 12 sketchbook. It always seems to attract a little too much attention. And I call these my lunch lines as I... Uh, Typically, I take these pictures that I draw at lunch, and I'll post them on Instagram. But um, I like to uh, go to lunch and draw a little bit. My wife and I used to meet for lunch every day, and I would always try to get there 20 or 30 minutes early so I could draw before she arrived and drink my coffee, and then we'd have lunch. And since the pandemonium, neither of us have really been working that much, so we still enjoy going out to lunch, and uh, she'll sit and read the paper while I while I draw one of my one of my pictures and I think this is about the point where uh, I decide that hunger has taken its toll on my concentration and I decided to go eat so here is the picture before my my image of spring and here she is in her glorious color and well as the cold and the ice slowly melt off the days grow longer, so will the coming of spring, and I hope that you will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making this picture. So until next time, thanks for watching.